of these issues in order to, to build a stronger foundation for our economy in the, in the future. And so he is uh, taking the long view about how we get our economy moving, not just in the short term, but the long term. Part and he's asking Congress to join with him in this. Uh, Part of effort. dealing with that, especially on health care, excuse me, is figuring out where the revenues are going to come from. And you know, a lot of talk about taxes in the House and the Senate as well. I don't want to show our viewers something the president said during the campaign back in September. I can make a firm pledge under my plan, no family making less than $250,000 a year will see any form of tax increase. Not your income tax, not your payroll tax, not your capital gains taxes, not any of your taxes. Not any of your taxes, a firm pledge. Does that mean the president will veto any health care bill that includes a tax increase on people earning less than $250,000 a year? Well, first of all, George, let's, let's make a few points. The president has said whatever is done has to not add to the deficit. So that's one of the prerequisites for this bill. We've got issues with our uh, budget. Everybody's aware of it. We don't want to add to our deficit. So this is going to have to be paid for. Two-thirds of the expenses, uh, two-thirds of the expense of it uh, under the president's uh, uh, plan and proposal would be done by transferring money within the health care system from Medicare care on, on, on wasteful spending, uh, giveaways to insurance and drug companies, uh, and so on. And so we're talking about the, the final third. He has proposed a plan that would be in keeping with the promise that he made to cap deductions for uh, the wealthiest uh, Americans uh, on their taxes. He still believes that's the way to go, and uh, he has made a strong case to the House. But he also the said this week it. he was open to compromise on this, and as you know, the Senate uh, is looking especially at this issue of, of capping the deductions uh, for, for health care that employers and employees uh, now get. That would, it would be an inc tax increase for many families earning under $250,000, but the president said he was open to it, so that means that the tax pledge he made back in September is no longer operative? Well, George, uh, first of all, there are a lot of different formulations uh, of that plan. The president has said in the past that he doesn't believe taxing health care benefits at any level uh, is necessarily the best way uh, to go here. He still uh, believes that. But there are a number of, uh, of formulations, and we'll wait uh, and see. The important thing at this point is to keep the process moving, to keep people at the table, to keep the, the, the discussions uh, going. We've gotten a long way down the road, and uh, we want to finish that but journey. If, but if you're open to tax increases for people under $250,000, that means that the pledge he made last September in Dover is no longer operative. George, I think the president's made clear the way he feels this should be funded, and uh, and that certainly is consistent with uh, what he said during. But he's not drawing a line in the sand. He said, "Well, that. you know what? The the the, the uh, uh, one of the problems we've had in this town is that people uh, draw lines in the sand and they stop talking to each other, and uh, you don't get anything done. That's not the way the president uh, approaches this. He is very cognizant of protecting." people people, uh, middle class people, hard working people who are, who are trying to get along in a very difficult economy and he will continue to represent them uh, in these talks. But they're also dealing with punishing health care costs and that's something that we have to deal with. One of the Republicans who is both drawing lines in the sand and still talking is our next guest, uh, Charles Grassley of Iowa. And he's made it very, very clear uh, what he believes it has to be in a plan. One of the things he said is absolutely no public health insurance plan. Uh, in the bill. The president has said he has made a very strong case for that this week. And Senator Grassley has also said that we're probably going to have to have some taxation uh, of benefits. And I guess what I'm trying to get at is that a price that the president is willing to pay? I know you're saying that the president laid out his preferences, but what price is he willing to pay to get Republican votes, to get a bipartisan bill? Well, George, first of all, the bill will be bipartisan.